Supernatural Season 3, Episode 5, Bedtime Stories. Welcome back, guys. We are back, finally, with another episode of Supernatural. In the last episode, we tackled an episode um, that was kind of um, interesting with um, some um, some people that we know from different shows. And stuff like that. I'm I forgot completely what happened. Um, if it was that episode or it was then the the episode before that. Um, it just I just want to get back into the action of Supernatural because the show is awesome. Um, I think the last episode actually was when um we had um that interaction. In, um, with, uh, that one girl in that town, um, and it was a demon inside of, um, someone, so, and they were talking about all the different types of, uh, demons that were set out when, um, Hell's Gate came out, so, um, I'm really excited to see what this is gonna be about, this one. Um, let's just check it out. Three, two, one, go. Mary Spring, Maple Springs, something. I didn't get it because. A dog, maybe? Oh, the dog. Oh, shit! I'm guessing it was a wolf. Because I said so, oh, you're not bad. No. <laughs> no, but I am the oldest. And I'm doing what's best. Hmm. Today, my quest. Hmm. I'm detecting plants with a protected territory. Ooh. Yeah, I know this isn't easy, but if you can remember any more details. Yeah, I'm working progress. Ah! It's real. Oh no, it's Grandma. Are you two doing okay? You're a harmless old lady. What can happen? Uh. It's kind of odd for a person just to invite you in your home. Oh. Uh... My God! Try to find a way to make up another episode, but still, like, woo! And the magic just feels like a monster. What? You remember anything else? Busy. Well, thinking about fairy tales. <laughs> oh, that's that's nice. Think about fairy tales often. Original. See, the Grimm Brothers stuff was kind of like the dork, folklore, the dark like version. Sex, violence, cannibalism, and it got sanitized over the years, turned into Disney flicks and bedtime stories. So you think the murders are uh, what a reenactment? I don't think they're reenactments. But why is this? All right, maybe it is fairy tales. Totally messed up fairy tales. Because we get a frog so walking around. around. Remember Cinderella? Something that turns into a toast and the mice that become horses. Think you could be more gay? <laughs> Don't answer. Okay. That is some. Yo. Why would you follow this dude? Think there was a wicked stepmother? <laughs> There's a wicked. There is a wicked stepmother. <laughs> and she tries to kill Snow White with a poison apple. But the apple doesn't actually kill the girl, right? Oh! She's uh, been here since she was eight years old. Yeah, since she was poisoned. Yeah, swallowed uh, bleach. Oh, wow. Yeah, how she got her hands in the bottle. She's probably been suffering silently because nobody knows the truth about what mommy did. Oh! Uh. So just angrier and angrier until it finally just starts lashing out. Meanwhile, she has to listen to Dad tell her these deranged stories about a rabbit. I'm gonna go stop the big bad wolf. 
which is the weirdest thing you've ever seen. <laughs> I'm gonna go stop the big bad wolf. Poison cow. <laughs> Why did you say something so horrible to me? Because I need your help. Oh! Pick him! Boom! Get him! Please. Listen to your daughter. Wow. Dude, you got this. Why did he get the hard mission? <laughs> so, he's just gonna go. It's not even like she comes back. Wow. Rethink this. Rethink this before you do this. Everyone goes home happy. Boy. Wow. You stop bleeding. Permanently. Broadly, maybe doomed. You can find out. Mm -hmm. up. <laughs> the deal is still here. And when Dean's time is up, he can enjoy the things of the Oh, he's not as cuddly as me, I can tell you that. Who is Like, he is not. He's just gonna kill random, um, like, actual, uh, demons just for. Wow. Cause like last in the last episode we saw him kill two demons, but like he had no remorse against it. Like he really just like went after them. Like, like we have done it before, but we have like thought about it. Like we only done it when it was necessary. This time, this time he's just going after them, and he's just using the cult from flat out broke. So it's, it's it's interesting to see if he is turning bad. That's exactly what the the de the yellow eyed demon told us that he might be turning bad. And I'm wondering who is behind that contract now. Is it someone bigger? Is it someone we know? We'll have to find out. We have to find out in uh, another episode. Um and. Um, Ruby wasn't in this episode, which I'm okay with, but it it was kind of like one of those filler episodes. I did like the idea of a bedtime story um, storyline. It it was kind of a wacky episode, I think personally, but there was some funny parts, some good parts, and some stuff like that. So hope you guys enjoyed as much as I did. Um, I will be checking out um the next episode very soon um so i hope you guys enjoy it and i'll see you guys in the next one bye guys